answer to your question, you will have to sit down and listen. Anything really. I mean, I am still married to Paul. 
Did it scare you, Randy? Yeah, for the time being. I suppose if I told him I never wanted to see him again. He had been anything but loving and, and kind and, and thoughtful to those years that we were together. I, I could. He wasn't. He was all of those things. And I can't hurt him. So, here we are. And I really don't see any way out without someone getting terribly hurt. Come in. Joe Riley, what on earth are you still doing here? Catching up on some work. I'll only be about five minutes. I thought you were going to take the afternoon off. Oh, no. Well, I said I'd try. A couple of things came up. So. I'm all right, really. Did you take your bill? Did I take my pill? That means you didn't take it. Darling, you are supposed to avoid all tension and take care of yourself. Would you please tell me how I'm supposed to do that? With a desk full of work, you barging in here telling me I shouldn't be here in any case. Thank you for being here. Hi, Tony. 
she's a very mature girl for her age. Oh, come she wasn't on. anything foolish. You don't have to defend him, you know. How do you say one word about your father? Well, she is his little girl, right? They're very close, yes. Well, now that is the understatement of the century. They're too damn close. Why do you think she goes out with older guys? Come on, Brad, don't be a dime store psychologist. I'm not. I'm trying to be realistic. Anyway, Dad could lower the boom on her if he wanted to. I mean, he's the only one she ever listens to, but of course that makes, assumes that he gives a damn what happens to her. Are you saying that he doesn't? Look, Jenny, the image that you have of my father, the eminent psychiatrist, the kind and helpful to his patients, and nice to everybody in the hospital, I mean, that's not who comes home at night. He's cold, he's remote, and he doesn't give a damn about anything unless it affects him personally. Sorry, Brad, I can't accept that. Now, what are we fighting about, especially when everything's going so well? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dump all my family garbage on you. You're not. Well, yes, I am, but because that's the sort of person you are. You seem to be able to take care of other people's burdens. That's partly why I love you so much. And I do, Jenny. I really do. Curtain. 
Oh, yeah, a couple times. So when, the, when is the league going to come up your story, Paul? I mean, as far as the banner's concerned. Never, I hope. Somebody's going to find out about it. Like those guys at the Chronicle? Sooner or later, they'll know. And I hope it's later. Why don't you just get it off your chest? It's a long story, Richard. But believe me, it's better for everyone concerned that it be kept quiet for now. Yeah, I know. I understand sometimes you have to sit on a story to protect the people involved. Right. But when the lid does come off, I hope I get assigned to do the story. If I have anything to say about it, <clears throat> you will be. Really? You mean it? Sure. Well, I appreciate that, Paul. And... Oh, here we go. All right, can we have a menu, please? Take that too, will you? Cheers. Yeah. I know. Uh, excuse me a minute, Paul. 